Hey guys, today I'm going to compare two card sized low power computer boards namely Raspberry Pi and with Udo. Raspberry Pi model 3 we would be comparing with all the three variants of Udo Neo basic, basic, extended and full version. So let's begin. So friends, we would be comparing Udo Neo's 3 variants with Raspberry Pi 3 on 12 parameters namely processor, RAM, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth module, Ethernet port, GPIO pins that is general purpose input output pins, motion sensor, micro HDMI port, USB, storage, camera slot, operating system and lastly price. So let's begin with processor. Udo Neo has a Freescale dual core processor with one core as A9 and other core as M4. A9 core is for Android based applications and M4 is used for microcontroller or Arduino based applications. A9 is clocked on 1 GHz frequency while M4 is clocked at 227 MHz frequency. On the contrary, for Raspberry Pi 3, we have a Broadcom quad core processor clocked at 1.2 GHz frequency having an ARM V8 architecture. When we talk of processor, surely Raspberry Pi has a better performance but then uh, Udo Neo has a better application uh, wise range from Android to Linux. Now coming on to RAM, Udo Neo's basic variant has a 0.5 GB or 512 MB DDR3 RAM Udo Neo's extended variant has a 1 GB DDR3 RAM and Udo Neo's full variant also has a 1 GB DDR3 RAM while Raspberry Pi has a 1 GB DDR2 RAM so RAM is better in Udo Neo extended and full versions than Raspberry Pi 3 Wi-Fi or Bluetooth modules Udo Neo's basic variant has no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth modules while extended and full variants have both of them. Raspberry Pi have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module built in. Now coming to the Ethernet port, Udo Neo's basic variant has Ethernet port and full variant has Ethernet port but extended variant does not have any Ethernet port given. That's a little bit disappointing but still. Raspberry Pi has a Ethernet port. Ethernet ports are quite useful when we come uh, when we talk about low power uh, applications because Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules do absorb a lot of power from your battery. The GPIO pins. Udo Neo has 32 extended GPIO pins which are A9 dedicated, 22 Arduino pins which are M4 dedicated and 6 analog pins. Raspberry Pi 3 has 40 GPIO pins and no analog pins. Motion sensor. The basic variant of Udo Neo has no motion sensor while the extended and full variants have 9 axis motion sensor which, in which 3 axis are for accelerometer, 3 for magnetometer and 3 for digital gyroscope. Raspberry Pi 3 have none of these. Micro HDMI. Yes, all of them have micro HDMI port. USB, uh, Udo Neo has a single one 2.0 USB port while Raspberry Pi 3 has four USB 2.0 ports. Storage, both of them have micro HD storage system or you can connect EEPROM via SPI pins externally. Coming to the camera slot, Udo Neo has an analog input supported camera slot so you can have NTSC and PAL while Raspberry Pi 3 has digital only so you would need a analog to digital converter in case you want to uh, use an analog camera Coming to operating system Udo Neo gives you two options Linux and Android while Raspberry Pi 3 just give you one option which is Linux Now coming to the price Udo Neo's basic variant you can get for $49.9 The extended variant will cost you $59.9 
while the full variant will cost you $64.9. On the other hand, Raspberry Pi 3 will cost you $49.99. So friends, in conclusion, I would say if you need a high performance system, go for Raspberry Pi. But if you need more features like motion sensor and Android, just go for the upper versions of Udo. Full version and or extended version. Don't go for the basic version. Now, uh, it's me signing out from this video. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, subscribe to our video and please do check out our website on the link given above.